Well, good morning. Good morning to everyone. Good morning to everyone that's joining us on Zoom. And good morning to everyone that's here. We're going to talk about some very encouraging and hopeful and fun stuff today. I wanted to share with you guys about the joy of the Lord. I want to talk a little bit about this subject. <coughs> In the past, Andre shared about the hope of God. And before that, he shared about the peace of God. So today I want to share about the joy of the Lord. See, the joy of the Lord is part of the kingdom of God. In his presence, there is unexpressible joy. In his presence, there is an abundance of joy. So joy and the Lord go together. In the Lord, there is, there is an abundance of joy that is so amazing that you can't even express it with words. That's why the Bible says uh, there is joy that is unexpressible, right? So <clears throat> I want to tell you a little bit about the joy. And also, <coughs> how do we acquire it? How do we maintain it? And how we're supposed to really deal with joy? So you see the happy colors, yellow, blue, white? Okay, now, this is not meant to be a psychology class, but there's a few things I really want to highlight that are going to help you really understand how emotions work. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. Uh, is money good or bad? Neutral, yes. Are feelings good or bad? They're neutral. What about anger? Is anger good or bad? Neutral. Neutral. I'll explain why. Is sadness good or bad? It's just one of the you know, few basic feelings. You know, there's sadness, there's, there's um, joy, there's anger, there's contempt, there's you know, all kinds of different types of feelings. So feelings are neutral, but it depends on who's handling them. Money is neutral, but depends on who's handling them. You can give money in the hands of a person who, with wicked intent, and that I will guarantee you this money will be spent in an evil way. You give money to a person that has good values, good morals, and I tell you this money will be well spent. So should you have money? Should you have emotions? Of course. Right? So let me just share a few things about um, the, 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 this, this word called joy. <coughs> now, joy is not just a feeling, but it contains a feeling to it. And I'll tell you why I say that. But joy is a feeling in the context of human experience. And I'll tell you why I say that. Now, <clears throat> there are some words that we use interchangeably, and that's fine. Some people use the word emotion, and some people use the word feeling. And we use them interchangeably, and, you know, we mean the same thing, but sometimes we say, oh, my emotions or my feelings, and we mean the same thing, right? But I just wanted to give you some, a little bit of difference between the two, and if you use them in the same context, it's fine. But I just wanted to help you see some things when it comes to feelings and how to handle them and how to really live a joyful life. Now, emotions are associated with bodily reactions that are activated through neurotransmitters and hormones released by the brain. Feelings are the conscious, conscious experience of emotional reactions. Let me just, just think about it for a minute. I tell you what, 
if I bump my foot on this metal thing really hard, what kind of emotion will this elicit in my brain? Pain, anger, frustration, right? So now this is the emotion that's going to be elicited because my brain is going to have a signal of uh, displeasure, a signal of pain, and my brain is going to say, you know what, I don't like that, and my body is going to react. Now some people, they will just bump their foot on this metal, and the th first thing that's going to come out of the mouth is a curse word. Some people are going to bump their foot on this metal, and the first thing that's going to come out of, mouth, of their mouth will be like, oh, man, that really hurts. I hate that. But, you know, they won't curse, right? So, but the person that will curse and the person that will just deal with it differently really is the person that's going to operate out of different feelings, right? So the emotion is the exact um, sensation or energy, if you will, that will surge through your brain immediately after you hit your foot somewhere or some, someone just crosses you the wrong way, you name it. So what's going to happen is both the person who curses and the person who doesn't curse but thinks well, they both have the same emotions, but not necessarily camp on the same feeling. Now, you may say, well, we always use the word, these two words the same way, which is okay, but let's put it in a, a different way then. They will have the same emotional surge through their brain, but they'll have the different interpretation. That's why one person curses and the other one doesn't. Right? So I'm just giving you a simple example. Now, the person who processes it differently, the same energy that surges <coughs> through their body that gives them the sensation of displeasure, the sensation of anger, man, you know, that really hurts. They have this, the same sensation, but the different contemplation the different interpretation. Um, I remember when uh, the night I was, I was uh, having contractions, I was in the hospital to deliver Aaron. I was six centimeters dilated. And every woman on that floor was having a C-section except me. And I was just breathing, I was breathing, I was just you know, doing my breathing exercises. I was just aware of how you know how you deal with pain that surges through your body, how to use the pain in a productive way <coughs> without glorifying the pain. So the nurse that would come and check on me, she didn't check on me very often. I had my mom there. So she would come and check on me. She, she turned to me, she goes, Well, she goes, you handle the pain so well, maybe you won't need epidural. I looked at her and I said, Lady, you're crazy. <laughs> You give it to me now. She says, no, no, no. She says, you know, I'll come back to you, but you know, you seem to handle pain well. She says, listen, 